Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, welcome. Yeah, nice to have you here. Thank you. Nice. So, welcome here. Well, Blanquita, Jose Eduardo, Ana Beatriz, and Oscar, who is just joining. So, really nice to be here with you guys. Uh, well, let's start. All right, here we have Oscar Luis Alfonso. Very good. Welcome. And all right, here we go. Okay, so first things first. Uh, let's take the attendance uh, for the first time today. So let me see here. All righty. So as we usually do, uh, if you hear your name, well, uh, just say present or presente. And don't forget to turn on your camera. So let's see, here we go. Eh, Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Very good, Beatriz. Eh, next, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, Blanquita, nice. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Carlos Antonio, not here yet, okay. So nice. Then we have Carlos Javier Crespin Lopez. <coughs> Carlos Javier, not here. Se conectará más tarde, dice. Oh, acaba de escribir el chat. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, justo tiempo. Me leyó la mente. So let's see. We continue with Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Va manejando también. Dice. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> okay, <laughs> later then, later. So let's see next, Denise Grisel Brizuela. Not here yet. Oh yes, I guess she's here. Denise Grisel Brizuela. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Thank you, Grisel. Nice. So we continue with Ember Giovanni Polio. Not here yet. <clears throat> All right. Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Francisca Elizabeth. Not here yet. Then we have Jose Eduardo Guzman. Present teacher. All right. Thank you, Jose. Very good. Next, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Uh, then we have Karen Vanessa Morataya. Karen Vanessa, not here yet. Okay. So then we go with Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present teacher. All right. Thank you very much. Let's see. Thank you, Luis. So we continue with Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Maria Elena, not here yet. And then we have Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Nelson Gavarrete, not here yet. All right. Uh, we continue with Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Omar. Very good. So next, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present, present. All right, thank you, Oscar. And last one, Yeni Suleima Santos. Yeni, not here yet. Okay. Not here yet. <coughs> okay. Then. Teacher, oh, teacher. I am here. Oh my God, all right, all right. So I, I guess I have some people who I mentioned, but yeah, you weren't here before. But I have a Francis Elizabeth Martinez. All yes. right, you're there. Very good. Thank so, you. Francis, good. Escobar. And also Carlos Antonio Escobar. Thank you. And let me see. Also, Christian Lasso, right? Present teacher, present. Okay. Also, Maria Elena Guadalupe, she's there too. 
but it seems uh, she's still connecting the audio, so nice. So let me just take note of this. And Maria Elena. Okay. All right. So I guess we're ready now. Okay. So let's start then with today's class. Uh, I'm sorry one more time. Uh, my voice is a little bit uh, affected because of the flu. So beg your pardon, right? But I might sound weird uh, today. So here we go. Let's start anyway. So before we continue, before we, uh, we, let's say, continue with the previous topic or we make a little review on the previous topic uh, that we started yesterday, let's do something. So let's play something that is related to vocabulary before we start, so that we start warming up. So we are, let me see, 11 people, so we're going to work into teams then so let me see all right so we're going to work in two teams so team number one is going to be a, okay christian is driving don't worry okay so team number one is going to be actually christian a grisel francis juan carlos maria elena and oscar all right so you're going to be group number one Group number two is going to be uh, Ana Beatriz, uh, Blanca Elizabeth, Carlos Antonio, Luis Alfonso, and Omar Hernandez. So you're going to be group number two. So what are we going to do? Let me show you. Have you ever heard about Word Shake? Have you ever played that before? Does that ring a bell? Le suena? No le suena? Word shake? No? Okay. So let's see. Let me show you what word shake is. So I'm going to share my screen here. And here we go. <clears throat> All right. So this is word shake. Now, word shake, it's, let's say, it's a game, but this game helps us to review some vocabulary in general terms. The purpose of the game is to make as many words as we can. So let me show you. I'm going to turn off the sound because it's a little bit obnoxious. So this is word shake. The game gives you three minutes to make as many words as you can hear only using the letters that are in the grid. So here we have some letters on this grid, for example, and this is the objective, right? To make as many words as we can. For example, here I can make, let me see, uh, some words like, uh, for example, core, right? So once I have the word, I click where it says enter. So as you can see, it gave me two points for my word. Do you see any other word there? Can you make a place? Uh -huh. Place, place. Place, let's see. P-L-A-C-E. Good word, place. So as you can see, it gave me three points for that one. So the longer the word, the more points it will give you right so if you make a really long word it's going to give you a lot of points for that now eh, what happens if i want to say or if i want to use for example eh, um, let me see if i want to type the word it right it it's a pronoun right so if i try to enter this oops it's not going to allow me to do it why because it only has two letters so your word needs to have more than two letters. Si la palabra solo tiene dos letras, no la va a aceptar, all right? So, necesita tener más de tres letras. Bueno, tres como mínimo para que la acepte. And that's pretty much it. If you want to repeat a word, for example, if I want to say a real, for example, real, R-E-E-L, but I just have one E. I cannot do it there. No puedo apretar dos veces aquí para poner dos E. Uh -uh. So it's not, it doesn't work that way. Si no tengo dos E, 
no puedo ocupar esa letra dos veces. All right. So, if you notice, I have two A's or two O's. So I can write words like cool, right? C-O-O-L, cool, right? But if I just had one O, that wouldn't be possible. So there you go. It, it. Uh -huh. it, it. like the verb, exactly. It, there you go. So that's the minimum, three letters. So it's accepted. And that's pretty much it, right? Now, how are we going to play? If, since we're working in groups, you're going to have, or we're going to have like one person who is going to be what I call the driver, right? Y uno de ustedes, el representante del grupo, va a tomar control de la pantalla, mientras los demás le ayudan, right? Ya sea deletreando la palabra o diciéndome la palabra, para que esta persona lo pueda eh, escribir, no lo pueda digitar ahí. Nice. Y, oops, se me olvidó algo. Let's say, for example, that you want um, to type here with. Quiero poner with, pero me equivoqué. Puse HT en vez de TH. ¿Cómo lo borro? Si le doy a cancel, lo va a borrar todo. Right? It's going to erase everything. Para borrar un, solo un par de letras, puedo solo volver a hacer clic en las letras. Here, right? Eh, se había puesto así y solo lo borro, ¿no? Y lo corrí. TH, right? With. So, just that. Me había olvidado de decirles cómo borrar. Ok, then. So, let's see how you do. So, the winner here is the group with more points at the end. So, group number one. Let me see. Um, Christian Francis. Juan Carlos, María Elena, and Oscar. Who is the representative or who volunteers to drive? ¿Quién maneja de ustedes? Someone brave. Un valiente, una valiente. Oh, manejan, teacher. <laughs> So someone who drives the screen here, actually. <laughs> so let's see. Uh -huh. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. All right. Hey, Jose Eduardo, ¿por qué no está? No está en ningún grupo ahorita. No, no está, por eso incluya lo que. Tiene razón. Lo vamos a meter en el grupo uno. <laughs> Nice. So let's see. Eduardo, you have been selected to uh, have control of the screen. So don't worry. Your classmates, they're going to help you. Okay. So, por ahí le va a aparecer una notificación, José Eduardo, so that you can take control of the screen. All right. I guess you can do it now. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Come on, team number one. Teacher, pero no tiene vocales casi. Yes, the letter E. Solo dos. <laughs> it's random, so I didn't do it. Try, try. Letter. Eduardo, letter. Ajá. Uh -huh. e letter, very good. E L E. Oh, but it's got two T's, and we just have one T, so. Maybe it's not going to work. Try another word. Uh, H. What? H. Wit. Wit. Ah, H. Huevos. Huevos. Solo tiene una G. So, uh uh. W E. Ajá. Ay, no hay, no hay. <ríe> ajá, ajá. Teacher, pero es que así no se vale porque no hay. Try, no try, no try, try, no try. E, B, E, L. Words. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Come on, you still have time. Let. Check. Let. Very good. Check. Nice. Let. L. E. T. Let. Jose Eduardo, come on. L. E. E. Jose Eduardo, <laughs> right? <laughs> L. Uh -huh. L. E. Select the L, uh -huh. E, uh -huh. T. Enter. Check. Enter. Enter the word. Uh, no, no, hay una, no, hay una... no, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> no, letter is with double T. Presione donde dice enter, Eduardo. There you go. One word. What else? What else? Let. Uh -huh. And oh my God, so one, el del honor. So there you go. So one point. Okay, there you go. So. ¿Y cuántas habían? No vamos a saber cuántas habían. It's as many as you can get, right? Actually. So it's random. Y um, dato curioso, la letra E es la más repetida en el idioma inglés, right? So, dato curioso. Wait, what's the other? Ajá. With the other letter, with the other vocal. <laughs> Could be, actually. But there were some more words. So let's see. Wait, Jose Eduardo. Let me regain control of my screen. Let's see. All right. So let's see group number two. So anything can happen. So group number two, we have Ana Beatriz, Blanca Elizabeth, Carlos Antonio, Luis Alfonso and Omar, volunteer to drive. Blanquita. <laughs> All right. All right, there you go, Blanquita. So you're going to see a notification there on your screen. And you just need to accept it. What it says, and, and then you're going to see something about controlling my screen. There you go, perfect. Okay, so once you're ready, click what it says, play again. All right, there you go. Are you seeing your my vocal? <laughs> All right, so let's see, Blanquita. Okay. <laughs> anyway. let, lesson. Lesson. Let's see. L E I, but we need a double S for lesson. And we just have one. Yes. So no. So, so no. Yes, cancel. Cancel. Good. Teacher. Uh -huh. Aha. Maybe hey, listen. Blanquita. Listen. Hola. Sorry. ¿Cuál, cuál, no cuál, dígame? Ajá, Luis. Box. Box. Box, very Sex. good. Honey. Honey. Money. Money. Or honey. Ajá. H O N E. Aha. Uh -huh. Why? Very good. Nice. Lay. 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 A. 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 A.
Lie, L I E. Very good. Shoe as well. Very good. Hasta se le esconde. Hasta se me esconde. Repítemelo otra vez. Read, teacher. Ajá. Read. Read. No hay R. No, no hay R. ¿Cuál es la que me dijo? Blanquita. Dígame. Sex. 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 Sí, sí. Bueno, ya. Sex. ¿Qué está pensando, Luis? ¿Qué es lo que está pensando? Qué fuerte, Luis. Win. Win. Tú. Uh -huh. Boy, 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 Chai, good. Chai. S, S. Ajá. S, H. Ay, 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 ay. ay. Ah. All right. Eight points. But that was really good. Eight points. Good. All right. Very <laughs> curious words, actually. <laughs> Quedó para el recuerdo esta, esta palabra. <laughs> nice. Very good. Okay, then. So, let's see. Uh, final score. Wait, wait, I'm stop sharing. Final scores. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. It's the best, it's the best word, teacher. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I must say I agree. <laughs> all right. And so, team number one, <laughs> one word. Team number two. Eight words. So, team number two, you are the winners. Very good. <laughs> All right. Nice. So, in this type of, you know, games slash exercises, eh, they're very similar to real life. Sometimes eh, we don't realize that the more vocabulary we have, the more eh, we can, the more ideas we can express, right? A veces sentimos que nos quedamos cortos, que quisiéramos decir un montón de cosas y, y no hayamos cómo, ¿verdad? quisiéramos expresarnos de la misma manera que lo hacemos en español y ser tan elocuentes como lo hacemos en español, en inglés. ¿Qué necesitamos? No just grammar, right? Not just a grammar structure, y not just good pronunciation. We, just, uh, we also need vocabulary, right? The more vocabulary you know, the more ideas you can express. Uh, vocabulary or to learn vocabulary, it's not just about, ah, me busqué el significado de, de honey, ¿verdad? y ya sé qué significa en español. No es solo eso. Cuando buscamos una palabra o cuando una palabra no la conocemos, la buscamos, y le pongo atención a la pronunciación, le pongo atención a cómo uso la palabra en contexto, y tantas cosas, ¿no? No es solo buscar el significado en español, le busco el significado en inglés, también una definición en inglés. Todo esto me ayuda, me ayuda a mí a construir una base eh, más sólida en cuestión de vocabulario. Carlos, tell me. Sí, thank you, teacher. Este, ah. eh, es como eh, un calendario de palabras, por así decirlo. Ah. Seleccionamos una palabra y tratamos de emplearla en el día a día exactly. interpretación. algo así es yes, that's a good idea that's something that uh, we can do y, um, muy buena idea de hecho eh, hay gente que, que tiene ese hábito de la palabra del día right? no es para aprender vocabulario y no necesariamente me tengo que aprender 25 palabras al día mm, podemos empezar de a poquito no una, dos, tres palabras eh, como ustedes quieran, pero aprendérsela bien, o sea, saberla ocupar. Puede no ser una, solo una palabra, puede ser una expresión, eh, un idioma, eh, una palabra de slang, puede ser una frase y ocuparla en contexto, ¿no? Eso es aprender vocabulario. Por darles un ejemplo, eh, 
para mí, cuando yo empecé a estudiar inglés, era un poco frustrante ver a veces que mis amigos iban un poco más adelantados. Y entonces dije, un día voy a comprar un libro en inglés y lo voy a leer. Y como no tenía idea por dónde podía empezar eh, con un libro en inglés, viene Rolando Cárcamo y compra eh, un libro de Narnia. No sé si saben qué es Narnia. Eh, son unos libros parecidos al Señor de los Anillos, eh, que después se hicieron películas, pero esos libros tienen un inglés viejo, o sea, no es un inglés moderno. Me costó, no les digo que leerlo, y, o sea, terminar de leer ese libro, me tardé un año entero, un libro que era bien delgadito. Y, pero, ¿qué hice? Cada palabra que yo no sabía, o una, a veces la oración completa que yo no sabía, la sacaba en un cuaderno y hacía eso que les digo, sacó la palabra y la definición en español, la definición en inglés, un ejemplo donde yo ocupo esa palabra en una oración o en contexto y la pronunciación, se imagina, se me tardaba un siglo en terminar a veces una, una página, y, pero le fui poniendo ese, ese cuidado, ¿no? Al final del libro, o sea, cuando me lo terminé, terminé con un cuaderno lleno de vocabulario y que me sirvió un montón, eh, sea inglés viejo o no, me sirvió, right? it was really good, so that's just an example, no solo es como una idea de lo que eh, podrían ustedes intentar, todos tenemos diferentes métodos, pero funciona, no so just a little piece of advice for you, so there you teacher. go, tell me, sorry, sorry teacher, I have a question, to ask. yeah, there you yeah. Go. Please, please do. Today I, in español, teacher. Ah, este día, que yo, este día yo estuve buscando una palabra yeah. que usted mencionó. mencionó. Ajá. Ah, la oí en una canción que estaba, que tenía el sino, pero era anelocuente, creo. Ajá. Usted mencionó eso. Ajá. Y yo, yo nunca la había oído. Y entonces la busqué en, el, en, en Google, la busqué. Y solo me salió que, es a, que tiene elocuencia, pero ¿qué es eso? <risa> Ser elocuente. Usted la... la mencionó y yo la había buscado hoy en la mañana, ah, porque la oí en una canción del vecino y yo jamás había oído esa, esa palabra. Esta y solo me salió que vecino. habla con elocuencia, pero ¿qué, ¿a qué viene la elocu elocuencia? Ser elocuente es tener la capacidad de, de expresarse con, digámoslo así, bastante con un vocabulario elevado, con bastante vocabulario, y, o podríamos decir un vocabulario variado, ¿no? de manera también, supongo, eh, elocuente, no, mentira, de manera, <risa> de manera tal vez agradable, ¿no? o sea, que, 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 que da gusto escucharlo, podríamos decirlo, so, por ahí va la elocuencia, ¿no? tener ese talento para hablar, podríamos decirlo. Tengo que oír nuevamente esa canción para ver si okay. ha hecho este <risa> 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 right, nice. Le voy a decir al vecino que la Good. vuelva a poner. <risa> Rabio vecino, nice, excellent. Ok, guys, so, y putting this aside, right, putting this, um, well, pieces of advice aside, yesterday we were reviewing something about Uh, imperatives, right? So we're reviewing that imperatives are these words that actually um, allow us to give directions, allow us to um, not just give directions, but to give sometimes orders, advice, warnings, etc., etc. Now, just to make a, a little review on imperatives, I want to show you this material uh, about the use of imperatives like in real life. Um, this is something that I like to call real English. I know this program is based or it's designed for you to use English at work, but I also think that it's very important to use English in our day-to-day -day conversation so that based on this, we can also use English at work. So I have this video in which we're going to see some scenes from different series, we can say famous series and movies, in which some people are using imperatives in context, right? 
So let's see. Let's pay attention to the video. And then I'm going to ask you uh, some questions based on that. So here we go. Listen and watch to the video. And you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. And then. Well, all right, you're going to pay some taxes, but you'll still end up with a slight. And you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. And then. Well, all right, you're going to pay some taxes, but you'll still end up with a slight. And you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. And then. Well, all right, you're going to pay some taxes, but you'll still end up. Assembly team, Mr. Cock. And choose your people more wisely. Assembly team, Mr. Cock and choose your people more wisely. Assemble your team, Mr. Cock, and choose your people more wisely. Morning. Hey. What's that? Oh, it's my housewarming present for Monica and Chandler. Oh. That's a baby chicken duck. Uh-huh. Morning. Hey. What's that? Oh, it's my housewarming present for Monica and Chandler. Oh. Chicken duck. Uh huh. Morning. Hey. What's that? Oh, it's my housewarming present for Monica and Chandler. Oh. That's a baby chicken duck. Uh huh. Dispatch QA teams to the gala now. Then search and destroy inside the facility. What the hell? Dispatch QA teams to the gala now. Then, search and destroy, inside the facility. What the hell? Dispatch QA teams to the gala, now. Then, search and destroy, inside the facility. What the hell? All right, so there you go. So in most of these examples, as you can see, they were giving instructions, they were uh, telling somebody what to do with Netflix, wait, et cetera, et cetera, right? Let me see, can you give me another example? Can you give me an example using uh, imperatives? Let me see, um, let's see, uh, Carlos. Antonio. Okay. Can you give me uh, one example using imperatives? Don't remember, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I just showed you. Let's see. <laughs> so, Carlos, you need some help. Who would you like? from these people to help you, from your classmates. ¿A quién le quiere pedir ayuda? De sus compañeros. A Oscar. All right. Oscar, let's see. Can you give me an example, Oscar, using imperatives? Carlos, quit your team. <laughs> I love the people. <laughs> there you go, an example. <laughs> Nice, very good. Oscar, you select another person then. Uh, the, the Ana Beatriz. 
Let's see, Anna Beatriz. Beatriz, can you give me another example using imperatives? Is a uh, why in picture teacher? A what? Uh, why a picture in the family? A right, uh, draw, draw a picture maybe? Right, yeah. Uh -huh. Draw yeah. a picture of your family. There you go. Nice. An instruction. Nice. Uh, Beatriz, choose another person. Is um, Omar. Omar. Let's see. Omar, can you give me another example? Omar, Omar, are you there? Yes. Uh, oh, there you go. The saltar. Yes. Uh -huh. What for? I uh -huh, like. What else? Or what should I jump? Que voy a saltar? Para que voy a saltar? Uh -huh. No idea. No idea? For example, if I tell a person, maybe if I'm at the gym or with some kids, jump the rope. Jump the rope 15 times, right? Salta uh, la puerta 15 veces. Uh -huh. Jump the rope 15 times. So in that case, I'm using it to give directions to. So very good. Omar, choose another person. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Who? Omar? Just another person. Uh -huh. uh, one moment, please. Uh, sure. Juan Carlos Rivas. All right, Juan Carlos. Can you give me an example, Juan Carlos? What happened with me, my friend? <laughs> Teacher, you can see the video again? The what? You can see the video again, but uh, not the, the, the sentence. You want to see the video again? Yes. Sure. All right. So let's let me play the video again then. But let's see. First, can you give me the example over there? Juan Carlos, you were about to say uh, your example. Or no idea? In this moment, no idea, teacher. Okay. <laughs> so let me play the video again, all right? So that we can all, so that we can all watch is some more examples. So here we go. Listen. And you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. And then. Well, all right, you're going to pay some taxes, but you'll still end up with a flight. And you nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. And then. Let's make a pause here. So here it says, for example, Andy, you nuts, right? Are you crazy? You nuts. Keep your eyes on your mark, man. Andy, right? So keep your eyes on your mark. So that means like, agarra tu trapeador, o sea, lo que tenés que hacer. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes on your mark. So don't pay attention to anything around. Maybe it's not convenient, maybe it's not good. So this is an example of an imperative. Si se fijan, él le está diciendo, y no se lo dice así como que muy amablemente, y mejor que se ponga a hacer lo que tiene que hacer, ¿no? Keep your eyes on your mom, right? Keep your eyes on your mom. So this is the imperative here. Mm -hmm. In the following sentences that you're going to see, you're going to watch that the imperative is always in a different color, right? So 
That's why here, uh, this is different from the rest of the sentence. So there you go. Sir, uh, I have a question, okay? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, in go this, ahead. In, the, in, the, in this case, only keep your eyes. Keep your eyes. Uh -huh. Keep your eyes is only the uh, admiration, okay? Uh, imperative, keep your eyes only. Keep your eyes on your mouth, right? The complete thing, it's an imperative. Keep your eyes on your complete, mouth. Complete, uh -huh. complete. Yes, it's making, this is in a different color because it's making reference yeah, yes, to, the, yeah. uh -huh, to the fact that it's the action, right? So that's what he should do. Keep your eyes on your mouth. But we consider the complete sentence. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Nice, good. All right. Then we have something else uh, here. This is a scene actually from a very nice movie, Inception. If you have seen, that's with Leonardo DiCaprio. If here he's giving him some directions as well. Assemble your team, Mr. Cobb, and choose your people more wisely. Assemble your team. Reúna su grupo, right? O su equipo. Assemble your team and choose your people most, more wisely. So we have two actions here, assemble and choose. So as you can see, uh, we can continue uh, with more than one idea to give uh, or to use imperatives to give a direction or to give some instructions in this case. So this actually is more like an order, right? More than a, a suggestion or a, if something like that is more like an order, right? So there you go. And so and so, right? Here we have some something a little bit different, right? And so let's see. And da, 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 da. Oh well, it was at the beginning, so it says come in, right? Come in. Come in, it's a simple direction, but still it's also an imperative. So I'm telling some person, hey, someone is knocking the door. So come in, come in, please, right? So that is also another use of imperatives, simple directions, right? Or simple expressions sometimes. There you go. Here we have like a group of military or something like that. So they are like spies or something. So they are keeping an eye on some people here at a party. So they say dispatch, right? Then search and destroy, right? So again, direct orders, right? Dispatch, search and destroy. One more time, a good examples of imperatives. And we also have Jesus. Oh, there you go. So it says, eh, get to, get to the antechamber, get to the antechamber. So go there, right? Go there right now. So again, directions, right? Eh, orders. As you can see, eh, this thing about eh, um, imperatives can go from a very simple expression like come in or get out, right? Get out of the room, eh, get off the car, get down, eh, or uh, like eh, get in the car, for example, something like that, very simple, to more elaborated ideas, like in this case, an order. Eh, like in this case, like a more formal order, right? So in both cases, we use imperatives. So as you can see, eh, we not necessarily have a subject eh, or a very specific subject when we use imperatives, but we know already that that subject is always going to be you, right? Eh, if I tell, Somebody, for example, in Spanish, entra, right? Someone is knocking the door. So I say, dale pasar, entra, 
right? That's an imperative. Who? I'm not mentioning the name of the person. No le digo vos, pasa, o tú, entra. Mm -mm. I just give the, the or I just uh, give the instruction in this case, right? Same happens in English. I don't have to use you. I just use uh, the action, right? Come in, get in, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? Grab a chair, right? Halatina see, grab a chair, et cetera, et cetera. So it's simple like that. Now, this is about uh, imperatives, but there is something else. Let me share it with you that we are going to study today. And that is the use of recommendations, right? Whenever we talk about imperatives, we uh, cannot avoid talking also about recommendations. If you check page, uh, let me see, 15, there you're going to see, uh, well, this conversation that I'm showing you right now, in which we have certain expressions marked on bold letter. So it said, the instruction says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation and then practice with a partner. So I'm going to read it once for you. And then I will tell you what you're going to do with this, um, with this conversation. So it says, hey, Bertha, do you think that our company should improve the manufacturing process? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because if we do, if we do so, we reduce costs. I see. I think that we should do what other companies are doing. And that is getting new equipment. I mean, we should not have the same machines with the same programs. We should be in the 21st century. Right. Maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. So there you go. First of all, we have these expressions here. Should. When do we use should? Any ideas? Uh -huh. You should study more. You should study more. That's a good example. Uh -huh. Someone said something else. I guess it was Elizabeth, maybe. Yeah, pero me pensé que estaba preguntando otra cosa. <laughs> oh, no. Eh, ¿Qué entendemos cuando escuchamos esa expresión? Should. ¿Qué denota should? Es, When es, do we say? De, debería o podría. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Instruction. And instruction. Mm, similar, there's another word that is more appealing, that is more like it whenever we talk about should. A what? Suggestion. Suggestions, exactly. Suggestions. So we should this expression whenever we are talking about suggestions, right? So or recommendations. First, be careful with the pronunciation. This is should. Should, uh -huh. should right? The L is not going to sound. No, it's more should. No. So it's should, uh -uh. so it's should, should, right? Sin la L, should. Now we have, we can use this expression affirmative or negative. I can also say um, shouldn't, right? Shouldn't, you shouldn't or you should. The pronunciation, it's almost similar, right? Should shouldn't, shouldn't. This is more like something like this, shouldn't, right? You shouldn't eh, go outside right now, it's raining, you shouldn't. We both, eh, well, both expressions are used for the same thing, to provide recommendations, to give advice, right? Eh, we can use eh, this in an affirmative or negative way. Now, what do we need to use this? Simple, should and shouldn't, they are auxiliaries. So there is no need to modify anything with the verb. So I can say, for example, you should 
take a, an aspirin. Me voy a recomendar yo solito. You should take an aspirin, right? So, as you can see here, um, I'm using should, and here I am using the action with no change, right? So I just use uh, the verb without any conjugation. The same happens if I'm using the third person singular. I can say, for example, she shouldn't go to the movies right now. She shouldn't go to the movies right now. So I am using one more time, same expression, but then some people might say, um, what happens if I have the third person singular? Should I use goes? No, why not? Because I'm using an auxiliary here, shouldn't. So I don't have to modify anything with my verb here. I use should or shouldn't plus the base form of an adjective. That's it. I don't need to do or I don't need to change anything else. There you go. Any questions so far? Well, so far, so good. We cool? Clear as crystal? Nice. Okay. So, as we mentioned, we use this to provide or to, let's say, uh, yeah, we can say to provide recommendations or to provide pieces of advice. Pieces of advice is what we know. Pieces of advice. This is what we know in Spanish as consejos, right? Pieces of advice. So we give people pieces of advice. Uh, aconsejar a alguien, darle consejo a alguien. So, hey, you should uh, learn another language, right? You should study English, etc., etc. I'm trying to, uh, let's say, trying to uh, give some advice to some people, right, to a person. So there you go. So then these two people in the conversation, uh, they are trying to talk about improving so, uh, something related to the manufacturing process. If, if you remember, we have been talking about the manufacturing uh, process during the whole uh, unit, right? So they are trying to, um, or they are um, giving some recommendations here, right, about that uh, topic. So as it says here, our company should improve the manufacturing process. I think we should do what the other companies are doing. Uh, we should be in the 21st century. Uh, maybe we should talk about that in the next meeting. So there you go. Now, what are you going to do? This time, we're not going to just uh, repeat this conversation. Based on this conversation that you have here, as you can see, the topic is talking about something we can improve at work, right? Something that we can improve at our workplace, for example. So what are you going to do? You're going to work in pairs and you're going to create your own conversation. You're going to create your own conversation in which you're going to talk about uh, some issues or things that you can improve at your workplace. You can uh, just uh, um, select like, a fictional workplace, or you can actually talk about the real one, as long as you prepare this conversation using the target structure, which is should or shouldn't, right? So let's see, we are exactly 16 people. So let me see. We're going to work then in pairs, so here we go. All right. So we're going to work in pairs then. So we have um, Blanquita and Ember. You are uh, one pair. Juan Carlos and Oscar. Carlos, Javier, and Luis Alfonso. 
José Eduardo en Nelson, Christian en María Elena, also we have Ana Beatriz en Omar, Francis en Jenny, and Carlos Antonio en Nelson. All right, so this is how you're going to work. Now, before we go into working pairs, I'm going to take the attendance. It's, it's, it's almost nine. So let me see. I'm going to take the attendance one more time. Antes que se me vaya. So here we go. So once you listen to your name, please turn on your, uh, your camera and just say present. So here we go. Y Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzmán. Present. All right, thank you very much. Y Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you, Blanquita, nice. Y Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Javier Crespin. Present teacher. All right, thank you, Carlos Javier. Nice. Y next, Christian Ernesto Lazo. Present teacher. All right, Christian. Next, y Denise Grisel Brizuela. Denise Grisel. Dijo que tenía problemas con la conexión. Oh, she's the, oh, yeah, she's the one that typed in the, in the chat. Ella fue la que escribió en el grupo, creo. Okay, nice, nice. So let's see, thank you. Let's see then, Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Right, no tengo you. compañera de trabajo. <laughs> <laughs> ya la vamos a modificar. Don't worry, Elizabeth. <laughs> nice, good. Let's see. Next, Jose Eduardo Guzman. Present teacher. All right. Nice. Thank you very much. Next, uh, we have Juan Carlos Rivas. I hear teacher. All right. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Very good. Next, Karen Vanessa Murataya. Karen Vanessa, not here. Luis Alfonso Martinez Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. Y María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. I'm here, teacher. All right, nice, María Elena. Thank you very much. Then we have Nelson Gabarrete Merino. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Nelson, very good. Y then we have Omar Francisco Hernández. Present. Thank you very much, Omar. And Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present teacher, present. All right, thank you, Oscar. And Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right, thank you, Jenny. Excellent. Okay, then. Teacher. So, uh -huh, tell me. My name? Ember, no lo mencioné. No. I'm sorry, me, me salté a Ember. <laughs> Ember Giovanni Polio Morales. There you go. Present. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Ember. All right. Okay, then. So I'm going to move then. Let me see. No, Francis, usted está tra va a trabajar con Jenny. All right. So don't worry. So it, no, es con Deni no es con Grisel. So. Uh, Genesis is here with us. <laughs> that's sorry. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so I will give you like six minutes for you to create this conversation. Once we come back, uh, then we're going to review the conversations here in the main session. Uh, acuérdense que van a crear su propia conversación. Pueden ocupar y eh, pueden tomar ideas de la conversación que está en el libro, pero el objetivo es que ustedes hagan su propia conversación sobre algo que ustedes puedan mejorar en su lugar de trabajo. Eh, puede ser ficticio o no, ¿verdad? como ustedes prefieran. And that's it. Use the structure should and shouldn't to do it. So, you can join the small sessions now and your six minutes start now.
There you go. All right. Then some, do you have problems to connect? Are you there? José Eduardo, ¿me escucha? Sí, sí, teacher, aquí estoy trabajando. Nice, por ahí le mandé la invitación. Estoy para... solo. Le mandé la invitación para que, eh, que trabaje con otro grupo, porque creo que Nelson está teniendo problemas de conexión. Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Me escucha, José? Hola. José, ¿me escucha?
All right, very good. Let's wait for the rest. Okay, here they are coming back. Okay, nice. Let's just give them some more time. Okay. Nice. Okay, then. So let's see. All right, so let's check those conversations. I hope I didn't interrupt. So, que no dice Luis, que pasa? Not enough time. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Whatever you have, that's it, don't worry. So let's see, any volunteers to go first? Con el Nelson falso me había dejado. El Nelson lo perdimos ahí, el camino. Wow. No, Nelson, Nelson me dio copia a mí. No, Betty, Nelson, siempre que no me vea así, cabal. Yo trabajé con Nelson. Ah. No, es que a mí me tocó con la computadora de Nelson, creo yo. Ah, that's the thing. <risa> no, Betty, teacher, siempre ponga los los teachers, lo que hacía en este caso, teacher, es que me ponía cierto, donde decía cierto. Nelson los dos, en el mismo lugar. Los dos Nelson, yeah, ajá. Nice. A mí se me olvida que usted está en la copu y está en el teléfono. So, oh, my bad, my bad. Sí, que en el, tele tengo, en el teléfono tengo, tengo este, el audio de la cámara. Ah, exacto. No, y José Eduardo estaba triste porque usted lo había dejado solo. <risa> Le tocó solo. <risa> Pero por ahí no, lo no mismo. <risa> Ok, ok, pero se arregla al final, no worry. <laughs> nice. Ok, then. Volunteers to go first with the conversation. Me, teacher. With Jenny. My partner is Jenny. Excellent. All right. So let's see. Elizabeth and Jenny. Jenny. All right. Let's see. Jenny. Do you think that our office should improve the units or? I think that they are fine. What do you say? The uniform I all and look back, we should, should change. I would like to present a report to my boss tomorrow early. I agree. Only that, teacher. Only that, all right. There you go. Okay, good. Couple of things. Remember the pronunciation. Should, right? Should. Should, uh uh. Should, right? Also, whenever we are using this expression, we say, for example, uh, we should uh, present, right? We should present. We never use should plus to. Nunca le ponemos eh, a should el, esa, esa partícula tú. Right? No formamos un infinitivo, sino que ocupamos siempre eh, el verbo normal, digamos, en la forma base. Entonces diríamos, por ejemplo, we should, omitimos este to. We should present, right? Also, por ahí, more early. Um, Pero es que, uh, es, que, es que fue, I would like to present, I would like to, would. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, ah, you use would. Yes. In, ah, I heard I should. I like to present report oh. to my boss tomorrow early. Oh no, so wow. never mind. So never mind. So it was my bad. I didn't hear correctly. I heard a should instead of would. But no, if that's the case, we're cool. So just one thing about more early, this should be earlier, right? Earlier. So it's what we would say más temprano. So earlier. All right. So we cool then. Thank you very much. 
So let's see. Uh, Jenny, you select another person. Um, Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. Let's see that. <laughs> okay. All right, Charlie. So Nelson? you were working with Nelson, right? Okay. Are you ready, Nelson? Con el verdadero Nelson, trabajo. <laughs> hola, hola, hola. Nice. Okay. All right. Ready? Go. Perdón, pero per permítanme. Oh, okay, okay. Getting ready. Okay, okay. Hay que buscarlo primero. <laughs> Ahorita. Ya, ya había guardado el cuaderno, Nelson. Ya había guardado el cuaderno. <risa> Ahorita lo tengo. Ok, ok. Ok, Carlos. Carlos, do you think that our company should improve the shell process? I believe so. What do you ask? Because. Is we do so we expand the market? I think. I think that we should do what other companies are you doing are doing. Ah, that is we should sell more products. Right, maybe we should talk about that, about that in the next meeting. Meeting? Meeting. Meeting? Finish, teacher. All right, okay. Good, so you took like some chunks from the original conversation, but that was good. Por ahí le van a poner multa por derecho de copia, pero nada. <laughs> All right, nice. <laughs> but nice. It was good. It was good. It was different. <laughs> so let's see. Carlos, you select another person now. I am Ember. Ember. Let's see. Ember. Okay, teacher. Uh, Será que puedo, puedo presentar pantalla? Oh, you want to share the screen? Sure, go ahead. All right, now we can see your screen. Okay, Amber. okay, okay. Uh, my partner is Blanca. Okay, nice. Hi, Blanca. Hi, Amber. What do they do in your workplace? We manufacture electronic capacitor. What do you consider that should be involved in your area? Area. Communication between supervisor and a staff should be improved. Improved. Okay. Uh, how should you improve the combination to a streamline process? Processes. Process. With team work. Okay. Thank you. All right, wow, that was amazing. really nice. Excellent, this was really good. So you were actually proposing some nice solutions here. So great. Por ahí vamos a pasar el, el feedback a, a la empresa. <laughs> All right, nice, good, excellent. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Richard. Bueno, sí, sí. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, lo vamos a pasar ahí. <laughs> Blanca de culpables. <laughs> Dice Blanquita, vamos a decir. <laughs> no, mentira. All right, so Blanquita, you select another person. We have Alfonso. 
Luis Alfonso, let's see. Luis Alfonso, el hombre de las palabras clave. Okay, let's la, see, Luis. A, la voy a compartir, pero no la terminamos. Ok, no worry. Whatever you have, that's fine. Who are you working with? Oh, my okay. partner, Carlos and Jose. Ok, ok. It's a trio. Good. Carlos. Ok. Aquí estoy. Present. <laughs> Luis, nice. you believe that in your company should change the time Mr. Ruiz? I believe it's necessary because it, with the pandemic is just don't have more contact with the people, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, I, I did some the scene for two. Uh, esa palabra, como se dice, teacher, is como... <laughs> a boy, for two, a boy. For, I think so, the same. Uh, you have written for to avoid the contagious. I think so, the same for two. A body, a body the contagious. Contagious. I recommend to follow the product of health. And this time, I read to the workplace should be 7 a.m. in time of three. Let me talk about this with the general manager. I'm with that teacher. I am not I'm looking at Okay. <laughs> nice. There was there are a couple of things here. Let me see. Um, when we talk about the time in which we enter, when which we start work and we finish work, uh, we can just say the schedule, right? Uh, we should change the work schedule, Podemos, eh, deberíamos cambiar las, los horarios de trabajo, ¿no? para hacerlo más general, eh, the work schedule, right? En um, de esto. Ajá, en vez de decir, eh, porque ahí tendríamos que modificar y decir tal vez the time we start and finish work, diríamos. Yes, eh, yes, yes. Ajá, pero podría ser solo eh, to change the work schedule, right? The work schedule. Sure. Nice. Yeah. Then uh, the pandemic, no, pandemic, pandemic. Uh, en vez de la Y, I, C, correcto. Uh -huh. The pandemic. That is la pandemia, right? The pandemic. And with the pandemic, it's better. Better is mejor, right? It's better. Con doble T. Better. Es mejor. Y acuérdense, siempre en inglés nosotros utilizamos, eh, especialmente, esto no lo hacemos en español. Por ejemplo, nosotros diríamos, yo creo es necesario, I believe is necessary, en español no le ponemos un sujeto. Yo creo que es necesario, right? En inglés sí, no podemos dejar esto, este is, digamos, bailando solito. Y aparte de la expresión I believe, necesito ponerle el it. I believe it is necessary. O it's necessary, si lo queremos hacer contractado. Right? Lo mismo nos pasa uh, después, ¿no? With the pandemic, it is better. It is better y not to have. It is better not to have more contact with people. It is better. Al revés. It is better antes de is there you go it is better not to not to have not to have not to have more contact with people not to have there you go and there you have then uh, we have i think so uh, or i think the same um, this is like a little bit repetitive i think the same Eh, to avoid eh, 
probably in this case to get infected, in vez del el contagio, uh, to get infected, right? To avoid uh, to get infected with the virus, maybe. Double F, infected. And I recommend, recommend to follow the protocol. Acá el protocolo de salud, health protocol, right? Health protocol. Protocolo de salud, health protocol. Solo de cambiar ahí el orden y quitar ese off. And the time to arrive to the workplace should be at seven, at seven, and to go out at three, right? Always preposition at with time. Let me talk about this with the general manager. Then the rest was okay. There you go. All right, nice, good job. So short and concise. So that's fine. Nice. So let me... teacher. <laughs> 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 right. Okay. All right. Thank good. you, teacher. Yeah. Thanks to you. So let's see. Um, Luis, you select another person. Okay, okay. Uh, Anna Beatriz. All right. Anna Beatriz. Let's see. Beatriz. Hey. All right. Our name is uh, Omar. Omar, let's Star see. Omar. Okay. Yes. Hello, Beatriz. How are you? Hello, Omar. I'm fine. And you? Very good. Beatriz, we should improve, improve product the other delivery. What do you, what do we know? Okay, buy a new car. It's a good idea. Buy in the car. Idea. Um, idea. All right. Uh -huh. Idea. E buy in the car. A more efficient. No sé cómo se dice efficient. Efficient. Uh -huh. Efficient. Yes. Okay. Uh, we should talk the idea to a meeting. Perfect, Omar. Thank you. A finished station. All right, there you go. Nice. Just be careful. Remember, should, should, should. Uh -huh. No pronunciamos la L. ¿Se acuerden? Should. But then the rest, should. it was really good. So nice. Very good. So let's see. A Beatrice, you select another person. Yes, Omar, teacher. Omar. Oscar. <laughs> Se quedó pensando con más razones. No, nah, it's Oscar. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Oscar, you ready? Okay. All right. Uh, with uh, Juan Carlos, uh, I'm going to go to how do you show improve the service time? We can, I, uh, we can barely hear you. Casi no le escuchamos, Oscar. It's a rain. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Now it's much better. How do you truly improve the service time this week? How do the best the service time? Uh, I should the chain schedule. Uh, add more personal. Should be open call center and up. And apply the new technologies. And apply new technologies. Mm -hmm. Only that. Uh -huh. Oh, you didn't create a conversation? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> in the uh -huh. in the, in the You just created a service. service. Uh, yes. uh, who you, were you working with? Juan Carlos. With Juan Carlos. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Don't worry. That was that was fine. If you created like a list of recommendations, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so that's cool. All right. So Oscar, just select another person. Let's see. We have who hasn't participated? Blanca. 
already participated. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. ¿Qué nos falta? Christian. Christian. Yeah, here, Penny. All right. Uh, my partner is Maria Elena. Okay, let's see. Christian and Maria Elena. All right. Elena, are you there? Maria Elena, Maria Elena. There she Hi, is. Hi, hello. Hey, hello. Maria Elena. All right. Hi, do you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. I don't see me, but here we go. Okay. Okay. Go. Okay. How are you, Christian? I'm fine, Maria Elena. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. I want to ask you what show uh, register cells in the new program? Um, you should enter the invoices for each sale made. Any question or require, you should ask me to avoid mistake. Oh, okay. Thank you you for your support. Okay. All right, there you go. Like oh. um, an example <laughs> of a good manager. <laughs> nice, very good. <laughs> All right, excellent. Someone else who hasn't participated? Ya pasamos todos? Me falta alguien? No, right. Guess we're done. Okay, nice. All righty then. Now, Let's see, as part of this practice that we're going to do with should and shouldn't, let's do something. Let's, let me see. Are you familiar with, um, I don't know if you have played this before or if you have reviewed some topics with this website before, but um, the name of this website is Kahoot. Does that ring a bell to you? Yes. I was saw Kahoot antes. Yes. yes. Ah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice. Perfect then. So let me share my screen with you. We're going to play a little Kahoot. Y para los que no están familiarizados con Kahoot, y es un website en el que repasamos diferentes temas, ¿no? En qué es lo que tenemos que hacer. ¿Se se acuerdan ayer? Pero mi me lo voy a quitar la música. Ahí está. Entre la entre la lluvia y la música no se me escucha. Anyway, so si se acuerdan ayer ocupamos como un website en el que nos logueábamos y aparecía nuestro nombre ahí en la pantalla. Es parecido, ¿no? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Nos vamos a www.kahoot.it, no .com, .it, y ahí nos va a pedir un número de PIN. That's the PIN number that we have here. Es este número que está acá, 6840220. Ya con ese PIN, eh, exacto, ustedes solo tienen que poner su nombre y su nombre les va a aparecer ahí en pantalla. So. Let's see if you can connect, and then I'll explain to you what this Kahoot is about. So let's see. Me lo va a mandar a WhatsApp ahora, teacher. La dirección, teacher, www. Esta que está acá, www.kahoot. Punto it. Punto it. W, w, punto con dos o. Punto it. Uh, it, ¿verdad? It, correcto. All right, very good. Tenemos a Ember, punto Jenny. It. 
Oscar Christian Nice. All right, we have Blanquita, nice. Jose Eduardo, Luis, Beatriz, excellent. And the um, We okay. have Omar, I'm sorry. Uh, my screen, uh, I see very and I select uh, play game. Yes, uh, play game. <laughs> All right, we have also Omar, very good. Let's wait for the rest. <laughs> Carlos, nice. JC, good. All righty. Ok. Mientras se terminan de conectar los demás, les explico. <coughs> en la pantalla, en la pantalla de Zoom, van a ver eh, las preguntas o van a ver, eh, digamos, eh, por decirlo así, la pregunta, pero para responder lo van a hacer desde la pantalla donde ustedes se acaban de conectar. No van a intentar hacerlo desde la pantalla que les estoy compartiendo porque no la van a poder mover, right? So, este Kahoot, eh, usualmente el Kahoot es como de seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Este Kahoot es de ordenar la frase o de ordenar la oración dependiendo eh, de la recomendación y que le pide para determinada situación que va a aparecer en pantalla. So, let's see. Let's give it a try. So, here we go. Si alguien no se ha podido conectar, todavía se puede meter durante el juego. So, don't worry. So, let's see. Let's give it a try. So, here we go. Number one. Let's see. It says... Puzzle. Tienen que ordenar la oración. Caillou smokes too much. Caillou smokes too much. ¿Cómo armaría la recomendación? Cuando tengan armada la oración, hagan, eh, presionen el botón de la letra K, eh, de Cajun. Hay time. Nos da bien poquito tiempo. So, Dejemos esto de ejemplo. So, Teacher, eh, ajá. Eh, no me dejan seleccionar nada. Solo me A mí tampoco. quedé pensando. No nos dejan seleccionar. No, no vale. tuve la misma pantalla que, que muestran. Ajá, ajá. Vaya, acuérdense, no lo intenten hacer desde la pantalla que les estoy compartiendo yo, sino de la suya. Cuando estén en la suya, arrastran, right? arrastran eh, las partes de la oración y las van ubicando en el orden que ustedes crean es el correcto. No solo le hagan clic, sino que lo van a arrastrar. Y, y las van a ir como colgando en el orden que crean que es el correcto. Cuando ya tengan, por ejemplo, en esta, ¿verdad? el orden era, Can you smoke too much? La recomendación, he should stop smoking, right? He should stop smoking. Cuando ya tengo la oración, Creo que les aparece un circulito ahí con la letra K que es como para mandar la, la respuesta. So, let's see. Let's give it another try. Veamos la siguiente. A ver si nos sale. Let's see. Va ganando Ember con cero puntos. Anyway. <laughs> Next. Let's see. Carlos spends too much money. Carlos spends too much money. What do you think? Uh, 
Aha, very good. Got some answers. Nice. Ay, ay, ay. No alcanzaron todos a responder. So it says, Carlos should save some money. So, very good. Some of you actually got it correct. So. Teacher, no me, no me deja responder. ¿Qué le aparece? No me va a responder, teacher. Ajá, ¿qué le aparece? Uh, no envía la respuesta. Ahora sí pude armar el... el... Ajá. Eh, la frase, pero no envía la respuesta. Y apretaron el botón con la letra K, que aparece ahí. Sí, estuve dándole varias veces y no la Nada. Mm, that's weird. ¿Será la conexión, maybe? Not sure. Don't worry. Let's see. Let's give it another try. Que mi nombre de letra solo me parece los cuadros. Ajá. Y no la puede armar, no la puede estructurar. No, porque no me parece ninguna letra, cuadro, los recuadros y no, no sé qué dice. No hay ninguna letra, solo en lo que usted comparte, pero en mi pantalla no sale así. Exacto, tiene que valerse de las dos pantallas. Y no es que le van a aparecer las oraciones en la otra, ah. sino que tienen que revisar las dos. Y no les aparece la Ay, ahí está el detalle. Yes, that's the thing. Ajá. Ah, ahí... <laughs> I know, so you gotta be ahí está. fast. All right. Ahí está el detalle, como digo. No, Jenny lo va ganando. <laughs> Jenny va con todo. Eso. Let's see. Let's give it one more try. Jenny va con no, todo. All right. Puzzle. Mexico City is very big. What about this one? All right, we got some more answers this time. More uh, people should move to other cities. There you go. Nice. So let's see. Uh, now we have some uh, correct answers. So we have Jenny, Oscar, and JC. Very good. One more. Andrea has a headache. My headache. Dolor de cabeza. Servida, the answer. Almost. All right, there you go. She shouldn't go to work today. Nice. Let's see. Jenny on fire. Oscar, JT, Ember, and Jose Eduardo. Good. Acaso lo muestran los primeros cinco lugares, pero los demás ahí están. No, so don't worry. Let's see. Next one. There is a lot of traffic in Bogotá. For that. For that. All right. So <laughs> people should <laughs> drive carefully. There you go. So nice. Same in El Salvador. We have the same problem. So we gotta be, or we should be careful when driving. Yenny still on fire. Oscar, JC, Ember, Christian going up. Very good. Next one. I love pizza. I love pizza. I love pizza. All right, but I shouldn't eat so much every day, right? If not, I'm going to get too fat. So let's see. Yeni is still in the first place. Oscar, JC, Ember, and Christian. 
Julia is almost cured from her fever, but today but today All right, so but today Julia shouldn't go <laughs> to school. Right? She's got a fever, so she shouldn't go to school. So let's see. All right, everybody getting some points. Same positions. Jenny on fire. Mama. <laughs> Number eight. English is amazing, but in my opinion. <laughs> Regular birds. It, ah, English shouldn't have irregular birds, in my opinion, right? Qué bonito fuera, pero no. <laughs> so we do have a lot of irregular birds. So let's see. Oh my God, Oscar going to the first place. Jenny, Amber going up, Christian going up, and JC. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, we love empanadas. It's a question. Where? Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a question. We love empanadas. True. Ay, ay, ay. Where should we buy them? Right? Where should we buy them? Donde deberíamos comprarlas? Right? Those empanadas. Let's see. We. No changes in the first five positions, but some of you got it correct. Seven. You go first, or you go first, or question. All right, or should I start the activity? You go first. Or should I start the activity? <laughs> this one was tricky. Jenny returning to the first place. Oscar, JC going up. Ember and Christian. The last one. I don't understand the question. I don't understand the question. Let's see. So we have, should we ask the teacher? Should we ask the teacher? So there you go. Final scores. <laughs> Third place. JC. Second place. Oscar. And the first place goes to Jenny. Very good. Nice. Congratulations. Special mentions to Ember and Christian. So nice. And it and me, teacher. Who? I'm sorry? <laughs> and me. <laughs> no por ahí. I never, I, I never played this game, teacher. Oh Sorry. my God, don't worry, don't worry. Ya no vamos a ir acostumbrando, don't worry. <laughs> nice. Okay, so there you go. Um, well, this is just a little <laughs> practice on how we structure, a, or how is the order whenever we are creating sentences which should or shouldn't, right? As you can see, eh, we pretty much use these structures to provide instructions, eh, 
to give directions, give recommendations, etc., etc., or pieces of advice, as we will say. So good. All righty. Any questions in, about the use of should and shouldn't so far? No questions? Not yet? All right. So there was another practice that we were supposed to have right now, but I don't think we're going to have enough time to do it, right? Teníamos una práctica extra, pero no creo que nos alcance el tiempo. So anyway, we're going to do it that, uh, we're going to do that tomorrow. So uh, that's going to be one of the first things we're going to do. Just before I take attendance one more time, a reminder, don't forget about homework assignments. Check the platform. Remember that you have like the five homework assignments for each week. I know that we didn't start like classes like on a Monday. So it might be like a little bit irregular for you to complete the homework assignments. But anyway, if you try to complete at least the first five, right? Or, the, or at least to keep them, um, to complete the, the daily uh, homework assignment. Traten de, sé que no comenzamos un lunes, como les decía, como para llevar la secuencia de las tareas, pero igual traten de que cada clase completar eh, la tarea asignada para esa clase, ¿no? Por ejemplo, ahora eh, ya correspondería después de esta clase al cuarto homework assignment y revisen la plataforma y por ahí les voy a subir también los foros no he, no he podido subir la pregun las preguntas de los foros y no me aparece todavía la opción no sé por qué pero I'm going to fix that so you check the platform maybe tomorrow and just that right acuérdense que a los bueno en teoría mandamos esas tareas los días viernes o el reporte de tareas se manda los días viernes y el viernes anterior pues eh, recién acabamos de comenzar pero a partir de este viernes sí se envía ese reporte eh, con sus tareas eh, completadas no and that's pretty much it now I'm going to take the attendance for the last time so same thing right just say present or presente and don't forget to turn on the camera so here we go Ana Beatriz Campos de Guzman present teacher all right thank you very much Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga present teacher thank you very much Blanquita eh, Carlos Antonio Escobar present thank you very much Carlos eh, Carlos Javier Crespi Present teacher. All right, nice. Y Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Y Denise Grisel Brizuela. Not here, I guess she had problems. Let's see, Ember Giovanni Polio. Present. Thank you very much. And we have Francisca Elizabeth Martinez. Elizabeth, she got disconnected as well. All right. Next, Jose Eduardo Guzman Alvarez. I have this. All right, thank you very much. Next, Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. I hear you, teacher. All right, very good. Y next, Karen Vanessa Morataya. Not here, right? Next. Luis Alfonso Martinez. Present, All right, thank you, Luis. Y next, María Elena Guadalupe Peñate. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you, María Elena. Next, Nelson Gabarrete Merino. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much, Nelson. Y next, uh, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro. Present. Very good. Nice, Oscar. And last, Jenny Suleima Santos. Present. All right. Thank you very much, Jenny. Okay, guys. So, uh -huh. tell me. No, no, no. Ah. 
Oh my God, tengo hambre. Me ando comiendo los nombres ahora. Let's see. So, I'm sorry, Omar. Omar Francisco Hernández. Nice. Very good. Thank you, Omar. All righty then. So, we're going to stop right here. Y solo se queda, hoy le tocaría a Carlos Javier Crespín. Se puede quedar, ¿verdad, Carlos? Carlos Javier. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. All right. Bye -bye. For the rest, have a good night. See you tomorrow. And get some rest, okay? Nos vemos mañana, chicos. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. 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 Okay. Carlos Javier. Okay, Carlos. So, Hoy le corresponden eh, estos 10 minutitos extra, eh, Carlos. Sure. Nice. Good. Creo que por ahí le, le, le está fallando un poquito la conexión, pero a ver si no se nos, si no se desconecta. All right. Ok, Carlos. Estos 10 minutos prácticamente son para eh, cualquier pregunta que usted tenga, dudas, y no necesariamente tiene que ser de los temas que, que estamos viendo ahorita, Pueden ser de temas que sean de niveles anteriores, que hayan quedado por ahí alguna duda, este, alguna recomendación que usted necesite, y prácticamente eso, ¿no? No sé si tendrá eh, dudas o preguntas, Carlos. Eh, fíjese, Richard, que algo que no me había quedado muy claro era este, lo que usted explicaba el día viernes acerca de las componentes del verbo para formar las oraciones. Eso no lo comprendí muy bien. No sé si lo puedo explicar, por favor. Ajá, los componentes del verbo del día viernes. Veamos. Sí, en la explicación. Habrá sido... Espérame, quiero ver. Uh, tararam, tararam. Habrán sido, no eran los imperativos, ¿verdad? sino que fue lo que vimos antes de los imperativos. Habrán sido las what clauses. Eh, lo, lo que sucede, teacher, de que el día viernes, este, empezando la, la clase, perdí la conexión. Y es más, Grisel me hizo el favor de informarle de que no me pude conectar ya por eso. Sí. Fue la luz y Ajá. conectarme. Cierto, así me Solamente ya recordé. Ok, le voy a compartir pantalla, creo que, eh, creo que era este tema. Esto fue lo que vimos el viernes. Vaya, vale. eh, el viernes estuvimos hablando un poquito de las what clauses, ¿verdad? que eran como cláusulas que nosotros utilizamos eh, dentro de una oración. ¿Qué son esas what clauses? Usualmente decíamos que pueden actuar como el sujeto eh, de una oración en el sentido de que eso es como cuando nosotros decíamos y teníamos estos cuatro ejemplos acá que es what you need, what my friend did, what I would do, what I'm saying is. Justo de la misma manera en que lo utilizaríamos en español, ¿no? Lo que necesito. Eh, lo que necesitas, what, what you need, lo que mi amigo dijo, eh, lo que yo haría y lo que estoy diciendo es. Entonces, estas what clauses es lo que nosotros en español utilizamos como lo que tal cosa, ¿no? Y un complemento. Eh, pero es esa manera de utilizar la expresión. Acá tenemos también unos, unos ejemplos en los que se ocupa ya toda la frase, ¿no? What you need is to have a great product. Lo que necesitas es tener un gran producto acá. Decíamos que estas what clauses, así como el tema que vimos ahora, van orientadas como a dar una recomendación, como a dar mi opinión con respecto a algo. Y entonces es como a dar mi opinión ¿no? con respecto a un tema 
para darle mi opinión a alguien, por ejemplo, ¿no? Eso, eso fue prácticamente lo que nosotros vimos ese día. Y pues por ahí también completamos eh, este ejercicio, que era como de, de hacer que coincidieran las expresiones con las ideas que estaban abajo. Y prácticamente eso. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer con esto, Carlos? Memorizarlo, ¿no? memorizar el uso de la expresión y el, los componentes de la expresión, que usualmente, eh, como le decía, es como la, la frase que ocupamos en español, este, etcétera, etcétera, ¿no? eh, dependiendo del caso. Así se adapta a la idea que nosotros tengamos. No sé si está mejor ahora, un poquito más claro. Sí, la verdad es que sí, teacher. Ahora me queda mucho más claro porque no era lo mismo que usted me lo explique a verlo en el video de la clase. Sí, correcto. Sí, me imagino. O sea, en el video nos hacemos una idea, pero si tenemos dudas, pues no podemos interactuar y no podemos hacerla. ¿no? Igual que leer el libro, puedo leer el libro, pero eh, no es igual a, a poder preguntar y a poder salir de la duda. Basándonos en esto, me podría dar dos ejemplos, Carlos de una oración con estas, usando estas expresiones. Ajá. ¿Algún ejemplo que se le, que se le venga a la mente? Quiero ver. Este... Híjole, no sé, teacher. Ajá. Quizás no me deja pensar muy bien ahorita. Y por ahí puede tomar de ejemplo esta es la frase que tenemos ahí, ¿no? Acuérdese que es como que en español si dijéramos y lo que, ¿verdad? Lo que mi amigo hizo, lo que mi amigo dijo, lo que trato de decir. Entonces, esa misma expresión es lo que yo consigo al decir what you need, what my friend did, what I would do. Ese lo que es ese what que ocupamos ahí al inicio. No sé si por ahí se le vendrá a la mente algún ejemplo. Ok, teacher. Perdón, Ajá. lo que pasa es que tengo problemas con la señal. Sí, así, así escucho, como que está un poquito inestable la señal. Va, solo para darle entonces un ejemplo acá, y un par de ejemplos más, podríamos decir What I think is that you should read more books. Por ejemplo, ¿no? What I think is that you should read more books. Also, I can say eh, what she said is that we need to practice more. What she said is that we need to practice more. So, again, um, it's the same, same idea, no? Lo que pienso, what I think, lo que ella dijo, what she said, I can also say, eh, what the company needs is eh, more technology, for example. Lo que la compañía necesita es más tecnología, por ejemplo. What the company needs is more technology. And so, and so. Right. Not all the time eh, that what is going to be at the beginning, eh, I can say um, it's more support. For example, it could be like this too. No necesariamente esa frase con el what tiene que ir al inicio y también podría ir en medio de la oración, ¿no? Como en el último ejemplo, yo pienso o yo creo que lo que necesitamos es más apoyo. 
I believe that what we need is more support, right? So ese también puede ser otro uso de esa what clause, right? So that's it. Perfect. No es obligación, entonces, que empiece con what la, la oración, entonces. No, no necesariamente. No es, no es obligatorio. Que, no, no necesariamente, pero a menudo eh, sí lo vamos a encontrar así, ¿no? Pero no es obligación que vaya siempre así, aunque sí es como que lo más usado, ¿no? Sí, perfecto, teacher. Entonces, solamente sería cuestión de estarlo repasando y tratar de memorizarlo. Exacto. Eso es, eso es prácticamente, ¿no? <ríe> Memorizar eh, como el uso o como la, la estructura para, para poder reproducirlo después, ¿no? Ya en sus propios ejemplos o ya en un contexto real. Okay, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Okay, my pleasure, Carlos. Thank you very much to you for your time. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank okay. you, teacher. Igual. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Veo mañana. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye.